we go. It has occurred to me, based on the taping of this box, uh, that this could not be an iPhone. Uh, this is supposed to be the iPhone unboxing video. But if you look down at the title of this video, and it says random unboxing episode whatever, then I will re be recording the iPhone unboxing whenever my iPhone actually comes. It says it has a battery, and it's about the same size as a box of a box of iPhone, you know. I see the word iPhone. It looks like, if you look down there at the title of the video, it says iPhone unboxing. So, oh, I realized I cut this box all off. I could probably just slide this out. This, like the last one, is the thinnest iPhone box I've ever seen. But then, look how small this box is. For reference, still haven't returned the case for the iPhone 12. It's about as tall as the iPhone 12, a little bit wider than the iPhone 12, the box is. I can't wait to see the actual iPhone mini, so let's get this open. Look at that, it is so clean looking. Oh, the white iPhone. For reference, here I have old fashioned iPhone unboxing. Pull that off. This is the old iPhone that kind of looks like this. Here's the new one. Wow, oh my gosh. The color of the white is just breathtaking. I did not expect to be so like, enamored with the way that this iPhone looks just when I open it and look at it. I love the way that the side goes all the way to the edge here. I love this look. I'm sorry, I'm nerding out here, but this is the fanciest looking phone that I have seen in a long time. And this is the cheapest model of the iPhone 12 series. So we're gonna, Pull this, lift it out. I really am disappointed by this. Like, we've got a clean side here and this 5G millimeter wave window that I'm never gonna use. I had the other iPhone 12 for two weeks, never used millimeter wave, just regular 5G. And then there's a SIM tray on this side. The cleanest side is up here, but there's still a band there. But I think the UK or the Europe uh, version of the iPhone is gonna be really nice. So we've got a little lightning symbol. We've got a lightning symbol on the bottom there. And then on the front, we've got volume down, volume up, uh, rear switch, and uh, power. And this, oh, the clean black front. The When I look at this screen and I see it all black, border of white. This is just such a clean looking phone. The great thing about white, I, I scratched my red iPhone 11 and you can see it, it's like silver scratches. This is silver already. If this scratches, you're barely gonna notice the scratch. I'm not sure about the back, but I probably get a protector for the back, a glass protector and a protector for the front and that's all I would do case wise if I was keeping this phone which after unboxing this, it's, this one's gonna be hard to send back. It is so comfortable in the hand. I haven't even turned this phone on and set it up with anything. And it is so comfortable in the hand. It's so like clean feeling and clean looking and just, oh my gosh, it feels amazing. I am going to put my SIM card in this phone. So I'm gonna set up this phone and get back to you on my thoughts on it. I have not had wireless charging about a week now. So for the last iPhone 12 that I tried, 
I got this plastic clear. I didn't like it at all. And it's not because of the design. I do think if I liked the rest of the case, that design would grow on me. I, I, I can see myself liking this design. Now, I have received in the mail this, which I believe is the silicone case for the 12 mini. There we go. And we're gonna, we're gonna open this thing up. We got this case here. Man, this is a nice looking case. Pull this off. Directions on putting it on your phone. And this little plastic thing comes off super thin plastic. So this, it's white. You can see the ring of magnets in there that helps it like magnet to your phone. But really that, I think that's just so that a charger will easily stick on here. The Apple logo is flush with it, even though it's a different color. The buttons feel like they would work through the case and it's a nice soft texture on the inside here. It says iPhone down here. With all the information that used to be printed on the back of the iPhone. So if I take my iPhone 12 mini, stick it in here. Yeah, I've got I've got protection for like it's got bumper. The the buttons are very clicky. That's important to me. The switch is easily accessible. Actually, it might not slip in my pocket as easily with this case. Even me just fidgeting with it. The lip around the camera bump is nice, probably very protective. It goes right over the top of where that lens is. So I suppose that's probably protective. Uh, it'd be nice if it went over this part, maybe had a hole for each of the cameras and the flash, but uh, alas, it does not. It maintains that squared off edge feel. It has a more soft feel. It kind of has a very soft texture to it. It's got the speaker holes, very tactile buttons. I can feel pressing them. It seems like a really nice case. Let me tell you what I think about this phone. It is the most beautiful phone I have ever seen in person. This phone, I would love a matte back, that'd be nice. Uh, Apple's matte texture is far and away amazing. And I think the iPhone 11 Pro white one uh, would be, would rival this, but I never used that on a day-to-day -day basis. This phone, I think white is the best color. The weight of this phone, the, how it feels in the hand, it just, it feels so comfortable. And being this shape is easy to grip. The flat screen is um, very nice that the edges don't curve around. Um, so the shape of the phone is amazing. You get that on the 12 too, and all of the phones that came out this year. All of the late 2020 phones have this feel to them. With the iPhone 12 mini, just being able to wrap my hand all around, being able to reach every corner of the screen without trying to, without having to really like, having it be a one-handed phone. It's something I haven't had in a long time with a new phone. I asked a friend of mine who is a fandroid, so I asked him, give me a, the, a small flagship phone, and he was like, the S20 fan edition. And I looked up the size for that, 6.5 inches. That's more than an inch taller than this. There are enough people who aren't techie like me and like him just want a phone that just works. iOS just works. It just is intuitive. You don't have to think too much about how to do things. You don't get to customize as much. There aren't all the settings you can change, but it works. It's for the consumer. It's not for the tech person. There are enough consumers, I think, that have held off on upgrading because they have their SE or their 5 or their anything, all of those small ones, and they don't want the large one. They want another small one. And this is your guys' phone. The people who are on the SE, the small, old iPhones, this is your upgrade. This year is the year to upgrade. 5.4 inch screen is a thing of beauty. I'm not I'm not trying to convince anyone that this phone is this phone is the reason to switch from Android. I'm not trying to convince 
Android people to switch to the to the iPhone mini. I think old iPhone people, not old people, but like people on the old iPhone, that this is the phone for you because it brought back straight sides, brought back the smaller form factor. This is a beautiful phone and I think the case adds a little bit of bulk. It, it makes it a bit more to hold, but it is protective. I, that's, that's all I have for you. If you're on a smaller iPhone, it's time to upgrade.